Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to remove or replace airbag module on BMW 3 Series Generation 2005-2013. So in today's video, we'll show you how to remove it, how to replace it. If you need programming, we'll have the video on the channel posted soon. Also, we have more than 200 videos taking the whole car apart. So please subscribe, give a thumb up, give a like guys, it means a lot. And if you need help with anything specific, Okay, drop a comment, we'll try to make a video. Also check out our official Facebook page, Auto Repair, guys, for more questions. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. So the procedure should be the same for E90, E91, 92 and 93. Uh, E90 is, you know, is the sedan, E91 is a station wagon, that's what we have here. The only difference will be in disconnecting the battery. Now, on that station wagon now, okay, or any other BMW that you need to remove the airbag module any car you have to disconnect the car battery at least one hour before you before the repair okay to make sure that you don't have any any charge in the system so we're going to go ahead disconnect ours now okay it is right here now And uh, once we disconnect it, okay, we'll proceed with the airbag module removal. So we'll go ahead and remove that mount on top so we can actually disconnect both uh, terminals. Okay, just one more there. See if that's going to help or not. Probably not. It's not going to turn all the way. No. Okay. Just like that. Now it's very important how you disconnect your battery. You have to follow a specific order. Uh, we will disconnect the negative first. Okay. Because otherwise, if the negative is connected, okay, and you touch the positive somewhere, you can burn a computer or something. So. We'll disconnect the negative and after that we'll disconnect the positive cable. Connecting usually is in reverse order. Okay, now we need to press down. Okay, and spread those things open so we can pull it out of the battery holder here. And on both sides, okay, you have one of those where the screwdriver goes, push down, pull to the outside, okay, and it will come loose out of the battery, okay. And now we will disconnect that post as well, okay, keep everything there, make sure they don't touch. I recommend even to put something cold underneath so they don't contact. So first, we're going to need a few plastic panel removal tools, uh, and we're going to go ahead and open the arm rest like that or maybe close it for now let's leave it closed now you have two clips here on top and uh, what you usually do okay you need to grab it with your fingers right here okay and pull it like that you can see that's where the clips are okay right here so if it doesn't come loose all you have to do get the prank removal to go in okay press on the clips and they'll come loose now we have two little clips on the side okay my bad and those are possible to undo from right here. Okay, let me just get on the side here. I'll show you once it's removed what they look like. Okay, I might give me some time here to because if you break those clips on the bottom. Okay, that could be very, very bad. And I'll show you why. Because they're not like regular clips. Okay, I got this one loose. And again, once we remove it, I'll show you okay, what exactly they look like. So, we have the same one on this side here. So, just one second, I'll go ahead, remove this one. Perfect. Now we can pull it out and we can disconnect okay the wiring harness so you have okay let me disconnect this one here first 
So we're going to go ahead, okay, pull this one out because some of, some of the models will not have that thing here. Okay, and you can just leave it like that if you want, you can disconnect the wire, it's up to you. Now, this one goes in a clip, so you can just pull it, okay, trying to get some light here. You can pull it out, okay, like that, and on the back side is the connector. So with a small screwdriver, okay, we'll disconnect the wiring harness now. Okay. It came out. Okay, just like that you can see. So what do we need to do? Okay, we need to put the key in, turn the ignition on without starting the car. Okay, the ignition on without starting the car is when you have the lights on, but the car not running. Have your emergency brake on as well, all the way up, and this is because we'll need to put the car in drive without the engine running. Press the brake, sh shift it in drive. Now, what you need to do, grab with your hands, push that button and pull straight up. Do not twist or anything like that because you will break your knob. Okay. And came out. Now, in order to remove, okay, the trim piece, we'll need to remove the shifter trim right here as well. And with a plastic panel removal too, okay, we're going to pry it up. Now here, you can see we have only two wires and those are with a small flat head screwdriver, there is one tooth that we need to pry. Okay, this is the tooth right here. And one on this side as well. Okay, and we removed it just like that. Now, you need to open the armrest all the way with a same plastic panel removal too. There is a couple of clips. Okay, so we need to start on this side. Okay, lift it up. Now you can see clips holding here and there. So you need to work your way around it. Okay, yeah. you can pull it towards the back. Now we need to disconnect the wire here. Okay, and let me see if I can pull it out so I can show you actually I want to show you how to do that wire Okay, this wire has one tube on the bottom This tube with a flat head screwdriver barely pry it like that Okay, and pull it out Okay, you can see that whole piece Now will be out. All we have to do is disconnect uh, this wire, okay, right here, this is for the power outlet socket. So, again, you need to, okay, you need to, let me see, you need to squeeze those things in towards each other. Push down, squeeze in, pull it out. Okay, and it came out. So, now we need to remove the e-brake cover here, the handbrake cover. So, with the panel removal too. There is a few clips. Okay, once I remove it, I'll show you where all the clips are. You just need to pry it up. Then you need to pull it like that. And the thing about it is, you don't have to remove this one if you want to. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just a zip tie here. And we have a video how to replace it actually. Uh, okay, right here, I'm going to go ahead and cut the zip tie. And later I'll install a new one. Just a regular zip tie. Okay, like that. Now, you can pull this thing out of the way. You don't have to remove the handle, but if you want to, you could. And then we need to get a flathead screwdriver, and right here there is, okay, two covers. Let me see how I'm going to get underneath them, actually. Okay, one came out, now one more. There is so much coffee spill here. Now, 10 millimeter socket here, guys. Okay, and we're going to remove two bolts. Okay, this is one of the bolts, and I'll actually need to get pliers to pull them out in just a little bit. Okay, this is uh, the second bolt here. 
Okay, okay, let's see if I can actually go ahead and pull it out to show you what it looks like. Now, give me a second, I'll go get pliers and I'll show you. Now, make sure that you empty your console, everything should be empty and you don't have anything there. Now, we can close the lid and we'll go towards the back to remove two more nuts. Now, right here, two nuts. Okay, and those are with the same 10 millimeter socket that we use for the front. One is loose. Now one more. Okay, I'll go ahead and get the pliers to remove the bolts on the front. Okay, trying to get the bolt out. That's what it looks like, it has a little bit of thread locker on it. So they don't get loose from vibrations. Okay, now the whole console okay, should slide out. Now right here we have the telephone cable that needs to be disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you on this side. <laughs> okay, so jelly bones here. Okay, this one is disconnected now. We have to disconnect the one towards the front here. Okay, so you can see that tooth. Okay, let's see. It still doesn't want to come out. Okay like that now let's see if we can okay pull this one up and slide it towards the back okay something else might be holding here so you have to be careful how you do that okay it needs to come this way up maybe we have the wiring harness on the back as well okay this one here we forgot about it so uh, with a small screwdriver Okay, we need to pry this one open as well. This one for the auxiliary port. Okay, now this is, didn't work. Okay, now let's see. Okay, something else is holding. Okay, one more wire. Okay, right here. This wiring needs to come out as well. So let's disconnect this one now. So you can see there is two teeth <laughs> okay. that we need to pry out. <laughs> okay, almost out of there. Now let's see if it's going to come out. We hope it does. Slide it out of the emergency brake, the handbrake there. Okay, maybe this one needs to go more up. Okay, and the whole console, guys, came out of the car. You can see, just like that. Okay, once the center console is out of the, out of the way, and it's been one hour, uh, at least before we disconnected the battery, we're going to remove the module. You can see it's towards the back side right here. 10 millimeter bolt on the front. Two 10 millimeter nuts and one ground wire here as well okay one is out This is the second one. Now we need to gently pull it out. You have two connectors now here. And how you remove those, you can see that piece in the middle. Press in, then slide the other piece over it. And the wire will come loose. Same thing on this side. Press in the middle, slide it over, pull it out. Okay, and this is guys, the airbag module out of the car. 
Installing everything is in reverse order. Install everything, wait a little bit and then connect. Your battery stay out of the way to make sure nothing explodes, okay? And uh, we'll uh, have a video about rebuilding airbag modules as well. Uh, ours is fine, but this is just a hypothetical situation. So thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.